All right, I just wanted to give you guys a little word. You know, we, we live in a world where everything is so easy and so accessible. You know, we got the internet and people just really don't have patience anymore. You know, think think about it in these terms. You know, we just about all have a microwave, right? Quick, easy, I want my food now, I want it hot. You know, but it still doesn't beat using that oven or a, or a slow cooker, you know. And that's kind of how I look at God. God is not a microwave God. Why? Think of a slow cooker. He wants us to marinate in his word, marinate in the things of him. Grow, learn, study. You know what I mean? Think of it. Think of it in those terms. Get into his word daily. Learn. Study. Grow. Really, really spend time with him. Some of us just want everything now, you know. For some of us, it's so hard to go to God when, when things are good. But when things get bad, oh, we go running. Oh, God, my job, I hate my job. I, I, God, please lead me to a better job. Oh, God, my knee hurts so bad. Lord, just take care of my knee. Restore me. Bring me back 100%. And that's good. When things are going bad, we're supposed to run to the Lord. But when things are going good, we're not thinking... Man, I need to be in my word. I really need to marinate in that in that word and learn some more, grow some more. When things are good, we just want things fast. And a lot of time, you know, our our the things that we want as a blessing, that's not that's not what God wants to bless us with. Lord, I really need me a good woman. Lord, I need me a good man. Ooh. That guy drives a Porsche. I need me a good man. You see where I, you see where I'm going? Our will isn't always his will. A lot of times the woman will go for the guy that has the money, and then they end up. Yeah, he he drives the Porsche, and they end up with uh, <laughs> the Yaris, <laughs> the primered Honda Civic. You know what I'm saying? It it it's um. It's the truth. Sometimes, you know, God wants us all to be taken care of and all. It, it says in the word that he, he will give us the desires of our heart. And to ask, you know, to ask him for the things that we want. But here's the kicker, you know, it's got to be within his will. Our, our will has to be his will. And it needs to be within reason, you know. If you need a new job, absolutely ask God to lead you where He wants you to be. A place that you're going to be happy, a place that's going to provide you with the money that you need to pay your bills and things of that sort. But ask Him to put you in a place where you can grow and, and you know, go higher up too. And that's not going to happen instantly like, you know, what we get with a microwave. you got to get in there, you got to learn. Again, you got to marinate, you got to grow, you got to get better. You know what I mean? It's it's really it's really a good way to think about it. And um just grow in God's word daily, learn, study, and ask him to take you where you where you need to be, not where you want to be. You know, we all want to grow in Christ and be, you know, better and, you know, we can get there, but it's going to take a little bit of time. You know, you look at the children of Israel back in the Old Testament, God let them out of Egypt, but you know what? It took a lot of time in the wilderness before, before things really got going for them. It's because there was a lesson to be learned. I, if I can bring you out of Egypt, if I can bring you out of this place, how much more can I do? And 
How much did they continue and continue to doubt God? They saw him perform miracles time and time again, but yet they continued to doubt because they wanted it now. They wanted what they wanted now. And we got to get out of that mentality. Grow, learn, marinate in the things of things of God and he's going to make miracles happen but not every miracle happens overnight I mean look at my situation you know last year I had a brain tumor removed here I am one year later I'm driving my hair growing back you know and that's after radiation treatment currently on chemo my hair you know coming back Kind of like Samson, you know, he had some hard times and his hair began to grow back and he called upon God. God, let me take out my enemies, those that curse you. You see, God blesses those that have a problem with the world and the things of the world. When people curse God and you stand up against it, God is going to bless you, whether you realize that or not. So, let's marinate in the things of God and let's grow daily. You take your Bible, you take the number of pages, pages in your Bible, the particular Bible that you have, and divide that by 365. That is the number of uh, days in a year. That's going to give you how many pages out of that Bible you need to read to go through it in a year and that's what I'm doing currently I'm going cover to cover and I'm reading my Bible daily and uh, if you read a couple of pages extra you know a day you're gonna get it under a year you're gonna get through that whole Bible so I challenge you guys I really do and you're gonna grow I promise you the Old Testament a lot of people say that it's boring and he begot this guy, and this guy begot that guy. It's, it's really interesting, the Old Testament, all that that went on. You're going to learn some really great stories, and uh, God's going to bless you for doing it. So I challenge all of you, get into your word daily and uh, marinate in it and really let it uh, speak to you. You guys take it easy. Bye. Thank you for coming by and watching the video, and um, I appreciate it. And uh, continue to continue to uh, keep me in your prayers. I, I would appreciate it. Doing great. Brain cancer is uh, going down. It was already bore on the cross, and uh, I don't I don't fear it. And uh, in the gym a lot, and feeling good, feeling healthy, and it was already bore on the cross years ago. And just letting God use me to uh, encourage and motivate people, and you know, on several different group. Uh, group pages on Facebook and just just trying to reach out to anybody that I can in person and, um, and encourage as many as I can and I hope that'll, that that uh, God continues to reveal himself through my journey and uh, show people that you know what what I've what I'm doing in this guy is real and he wouldn't be where he is right now if it were not for me and uh, to be driving again is just within, you know, three, four months after not one but two surgeries. And um, to go through through chemo with no sickness, no nausea, to go through, you know, currently going through uh, chemo with the same, no sickness, no nausea, is just not something that happens all the time. And so I know who's in control. God's in control. And God's in control of everything that's going on in your life you just got to believe it and have faith marinate in your word guys marinate in the things of him you guys take it easy bye